how do you balance like having to be in front of stuff and break stuff and be in charge, you know, the first guy, first guy, first guy. But then at the end of the day, it seems like your heart is in getting in the car, going to the Phillies and telling the story. That is my preference. Now, over the years, I've done the breaking news and I'm sort of known for that as well. And yet, as time goes by, more and more time goes by, the value of that seems to be less. Because even if I break the biggest story I can think of today, that story will be mine for two minutes, maybe, before somebody else confirms it and the whole world has it. So I still do it. And there are certain things, certain kinds of stories that you can write that maybe no one else can touch. And that's a really good break because it's not a transaction, for instance. I'll give you an example. When we at The Athletic broke the Astros story, the scandal, the sign stealing that was illegal. Well, no one's going to simply call somebody and say, can you confirm this? And I'll put it on Twitter too. No, that story was pretty much untouchable. So that's not going to happen every day, that kind of story. Thank goodness in many ways. But those are the kinds of things I look to do, to be different, to do something that people can't confirm and chase and have out there themselves in two minutes, because there's not much value in that. That said, there are a lot of people who follow on Twitter and that's what they want. So that's part of the job too. 